Cracks or other discontinuities perpendicular to the surface of the test piece or tightly with respect to that surface are usually invisible with straight beam test techniques because of their orientation with respect to the sound beam. So this is the purpose of the angle beam testing. As you can see, this is a comparison between uh, the straight beam technique and the angle beam technique. So for example, for this defect, we will get much reflected energy using an angle beam uh, technique. In this animation, you can see the flow echo, which is not coming to uh, the probe. So no flow is uh, recorded. And this is because of the flow orientation. This is the fundamental calculations of the angle beam technique. You can see this test specimen with the Technis T and the probe here with the angle theta. So we'll define the following distance. The distance AB is called the half skip distance. The distance AC is called the full skip distance. The distance AD is called the half skip beam path length. The distance AD plus DC is called the full skip beam path length. So for the calculations, the half skip distance is equals to uh, the thickness T multiplied by tangent of the angle of the probe. The full skip distance is equals to 2 multiplied by the thickness T multiplied by the tangent of the angle theta. The half skip main path length is equals to T divided by cosine of the angle theta. And last one, the full skip beam path length is uh, equals to 2 multiplied by thickness t divided by cosine of the probe angle theta. And here we will present the calculations you need to locate the flow. Here is the specimen of the thickness t with a flow and we have the probe of angle theta. So we can draw the flow triangle as you can see here and if we use the trigonometric formulas, we got the distance A, which is uh, the surface distance, equals to S, which is the sound uh, path, multiplied by sine of the angle theta. And D, which is the depth of the, uh, the flow, is equals to S multiplied by cosine of the probe angle theta.